Hello guys, a video showing a telemetry setup with Futaba's 14SG computer radio system. I've got the system set up on the bench, as you can see, with the transmitter and just a simple bench rig with the receiver, receiver battery, a LiPo battery in the upper right corner of the tray, and the GPS sensor plugged into the serial bus port, uh, the SBUS2 port on the receiver. We have activated the system And I'll zoom in to the transmitter screen here. And we'll bring on the backlight. So you can see it a little better. We're in the 14 channel mode, which we need to be in when we're using sensors off the SBUS2 system. And let's go now to away from the home screen to my user screen, user menu, and we'll scroll to telemetry. Notice here that we have three bars near the uh, antenna symbol here, indicating we've got a good signal going between the transmitter back to the receiver. And I showed you on an earlier video the telemetry readouts for the receiver battery and the uh, in this case the lipo pack you saw in the upper right corner of that tray the three cell lipo pack those readouts readouts are there and we showed earlier the fact that they are on switch D voice activation battery 6.3 volt 6 that's the receiver three, battery 6.3 external battery 11.6 and six then that's volt, the lipo 11 battery point in this six, case 11.6 battery 6.3 volt again those were on switch D We're going to look at our GPS readout on switch B in just a moment. So let's go over to the distance icon and we'll activate that and let's look at page one for distance readout notice at the top center of the screen next to the capital letter G are two bars out of three possible that indicate we're getting satellite reception on the SBS 01G GPS sensor that is plugged into the SBUS2 port. And let's scroll
to the speech part of that and just see that it is set on inhibited. There is no call out for the in the speech mode for distance. I do have a call out set up for altitude and speed. And of course you can set up alerts if you're using this with a in a situation where distance callouts would be important to you, say a quadcopter or a FPV uh, setup. You'll notice the distance screen is showing two yards because I did move the tray after the GPS received the satellite signal. I moved the tray in from outdoors to indoors on my bench and it's still showing three or four yards of, um, of movement of distance covered when I did that. Let's go down to speed and it's showing zero miles per hour at the moment. In the past it showed as much as 23 miles per hour and various alerts can be set up. Speech is activated. The choices are activation or inhibit. We've chosen activation. On switch B. See switch B highlighted here. And along with that we can scroll over to the on off. I thought we could, there we go. And switch B is off for voice activation in this case on the lower position, but when I switch it to the middle position... Speed, zero miles per hour, zero, 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 zero. We're hearing about speed. And let's go back to the telemetry page. Scroll over to altitude. Let's look at that. It has, it is showing 23 feet currently. It's gone in recent past from minus three feet to plus 26 feet. I don't have any alerts set at the moment. Speech is activated on switch B. Let's get over to the on off and we see that switch B is going to tell us altitude only in the very uppermost position. And just to hear altitude. Speed, zero miles per hour. Altitude twenty three feet. Twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty three. Twenty three. Altitude twenty three feet. Twenty three. And of course that will vary continuously as the model flies. So with switch B in the center or uppermost position, we can choose to hear a synthesized voice call out for speed and altitude and we showed you earlier switch D for receiver voltage and motor voltage. Two points here number one whenever you plug a sensor into the serial bus port you must relink the receiver in order to get the sensor to uh, respond. 
also it might be necessary for you to use the setup shown in the manual for assigning a slot to your sensor um, using a Y connector and a battery and the sensor plugged into the back of the transmitter and assigning it to a slot manually. Occasionally these sensors do not automatically register with the transmitter and you won't get any output at all but using the procedure outlined in the book there is a connector inside here a place for a connection inside here or a Y connector and a battery and your particular sensor you you can use to manually key in the serial number that's found on the sensor itself and assign it to activation slots in the transmitter itself so if your sensor is not responding go through this procedure it is not outlined in the book but it is necessary to make the sensors work on occasion that's it happy flying thanks for listening